Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unmentioned Fraud tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to create a system in which you have to hold two buttons in order to do something, for example, to interact. In my example, I'm going to be pressing Q does one attack, E does another attack, and pressing both Q and E at the same time does another attack. So in this, you have you can press a button to do one thing, you can press another button to do another thing, or you can press both buttons at the same time to do something else. So let me actually show you what it is that we're going to create today. So again, if I were to press Q, you'll see I'm going to attack from the left. If I press E, we're going to attack from the right. And if I press Q and E together, we're going to attack from the center, like so. Now, this is quite a basic example which I've given, and it doesn't actually do anything. It is just the animations. However, I'm going to be going over the main functionality of setting up. One button does one thing, another button does another thing, and both buttons at the same time do another thing. So this is what we're going over in Creator today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint, which for me is content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. In here, we want to get the buttons in which we want to be pressing down to do stuff. So again, for me, that is going to be Q and E. You can set these up as action mappings if you want, but I'm just going to do it as the Q keyboard event and the E keyboard event, like so. Let me go at that again, E, keyboard event, like that. So I've got both of them in here, like so. But what we want to do is see if we're pressing both of these at the same time. So underneath this, I'm going to right click and get player controller, like so. Out of this, I'm going to get is input key down. I'm going to copy and paste that to get two of them, like so, because we have two different buttons we want to check for. The top one is going to be Q and the bottom one is going to be E. It doesn't matter which way around it is, and it doesn't matter which keys, but these are the two keys in which you want the player to have to press at the same time. And I should also mention, you don't have to have Q does one thing, E does another, Q and E do one thing, you can just have it as holding two buttons does one thing. This is very easy to change and customize for what you want. So we're gonna start off with doing two things at once. So out of the retirement value, we're going to get an AND boolean, connecting that to both of those. So Q and E both have to be held down in order to do something. This is going to go into a branch, so hold down B and left click to get that branch with that as a condition to obviously make sure that both of these are true. Connecting that branch into the E keyboard event there. And we're also going to connect Q into that as well. So I'm just going to double click onto there to get a root node, connecting that into there to keep it nice and organized as well. That's why I'm doing it there. What I might also do as well, just move those down just so it looks like this. So when we press either Q or E, it's going to check to make sure that we have both of them pressed down at once in order to actually fire off the code for holding both of them down at the same time. That will come off of true. If only one of them is held down, this will obviously be false. So we'll do this code down here. So off of true here, this is where you do the code for if the player is holding both buttons at once. So what we want to do first is hold down O to get do once, connect that to there, now that completed, you do your code, so this is where you do absolutely anything you want here. In my example, I'm going to be doing a play anim montage. But again, this can obviously be whatever you want, so it could be interacting, doing a montage and attacking like me, or spawning something in. Again, it can be anything you want. The anim montage for me is going to be double attack. Then I'm going to hold down D, left click to get delay, connect that into the return value there, and completed is going to go into the reset of the do once. So you do want to make sure that you reset your do once as well at the end of your code. And for me, the end of the code is after the animation that finishes playing. And this is just so we can then do it again, obviously, if the player then presses Q and E or any button you've set up at the same time, it is going to then do this code once again. So we can compile, save, hit play to test this out. And you should see if we press Q and E at the same time, we're going to play this animation. If I just press Q or just press E, it's not going to do either one unless I press them both at the same time, like so. So that is now set up pressing two buttons at the same time to do one thing. Now that's set up, so just pressing one of them does something else. Like I said, true of this branch is both at the same time, false is only one, so we want to come off a of false to check which one it actually is. So we're gonna hold down B, left click to get a branch, as I said, check, and that's gonna go into the false of the first branch. The condition of this is going to be the first is input key down here. And what I'm gonna do is just straighten up like so. And so this one is Q, so for me, this is going to be the left attack. And it's that simple, all we need to do is just one more branch, so if we're not pressing both of them down, which one are we pressing? This one is Q, so true, I'm pressing Q. So again, for me, that's again another play and a montage. This one is going to be 
the left attack like so because Q is on the left that makes sense for me then false hold down B left click to get another branch connecting it to there and the condition of this one is the other is input key down so again if it's not both of them and it's not Q then we're going to check to see if it's E which I'm just going to move down a little bit but again for me this is just another play and a montage with this one being the right attack like that and we can compile save that that is all the code we need to do it is very very simple so again when we press either Q or E we're going to check to see if we are holding down and pressing both of them at the same time if we are pressing them both at the same time we're going to do the code for that if we're not, we're going to check to see which one we are pressing down and do a code according to that as well. And again, obviously you do not need this here. You can just have it for pressing on both at the same time if you wanted. So let's hit play and test this out. If I press Q, I'm attacking from the left. If I were to press E, I'm attacking from the right. And if I were to press Q and E, we're going to attack from the middle like so. So that works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video as so we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can press one button to do one thing another button to do another thing and if we press both of them at the same time we do something different which again you can change to be however you want so what you can do is just you have to press two buttons at once to do something for example interact attack shoot so spawn something in anything you like so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one